Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Squarespace website to Google Analytics in 2023. Google Analytics is a powerful tool that provides valuable insights into your website's performance and visitors' behavior. By integrating Google Analytics with your Squarespace site, you can track key metrics, monitor traffic, and make data-driven decisions to improve your online presence. So in this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up your Google Analytics for your Squarespace websites. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, uh, and if you haven't already signed up for a Google Analytics account using your Google account credentials, you will have to go and sign in for a sign up for an account. And if you have an account, you can simply go and sign in into it. So go to this URL section and simply type Google Analytics and hit the enter button. Once you do so, as you can see, you'll find Google Analytics here. And let's just wait for the page to load. And as you can see here, you'll be able to click on start measuring because uh, as you can see, I already, I already have a, a Google account. So uh, I don't have to do much. I am just in the step by account creation. So as you can see my new account name, I'm just going to name it like sister and like that. And as you can see, uh, all those three are checked. Don't uncheck them. And as you can see here, accounts, products, and service. If you have enabled Google Signal, this settings will also apply to authentical visitation data, which is associated with Google user. The settings is required to enhance demographics, interests, and reporting. If you disable this option, this data can still flow to other Google products. X plus it's a link to your property. Visit the product link in section in other prop in each uh, property to view or change the settings. Let's just check it here. So make sure to check the modeling, contribution, and business insights, technical support, and account speci specialists. So then click on next. Here, of course, a property name. I'm just going to name it again, test, uh, like that. Click on next. Here, a small one, two, and here I'm just going to put games. Why not? Click on next. Uh, drive online sales, create. I also accept, I accept, uh, I accept. And simply here, uh, choose the platform web. And here you'll have to enter the URL of your website. So for you, you will have to simply paste the URL section of your website here and simply click on create string. Of course, if you don't know what I did right now, right now Let's just go through those steps one by one. So, of course, account creation. After that, I created a new property. So, in Google Analytics dashboard, you can go and create like a create property and and follow the prompts, of course, to a new property to your Squarespace website. After creating a new property, you will receive a unique tracking ID. Of course, we didn't fill the information yet. So, let's just go to Squarespace example dot com. And of course, uh, we can even skip this uh, step at the moment. So click on continue to home. And example, performance suggests an update, feature announcement, no, feedback and testing, offers from Google. So, or no, nah, I don't want to receive any of this. So let's just click on save. And here we are. So now we still didn't connect our Squarespace website yet. So as you can see, you can't find it in data streams. Please set up a stream to start collecting data uh, at this property. So once you go to your Squarespace site, if you have an account, you just go and log in into it. If you don't, just go and create a new account. Let me just access the dashboard, then access my website here. As an example, click on website. And as you can see here uh, on this website, if we click on preview here, we'll be able to find this website right here. So let's just equate the preview. And here's an example, we can go to settings domains and get the URL section from here as an example. So this is normally our URL section. Of course, I don't have a, a custom domain name. So for me, for you, of course, you'll have to go and get your URL selection of your uh, websites. And for me, I'm not even paying the plan, so I'll not have a customized one. So it's not gonna be a big deal. So for you, of course, you'll have to access your Squarespace settings. Uh, go to login to your settings and make sure as we said here, or go to settings. So from there, of course, you'll be able to go to advanced and external services and the external services uh, section 
uh, paste your Google Analytics tracking ID, of course, after like uh, go after pasting here your URL section, you will get your uh, uh, like an ID. Make sure to copy that ID after you created the theme. So, as an example, I'm just going to type here uh, .com and I'm just going to do something like randomly and see. So, as an example, you will get this ID. This ID, you will have to go and paste this in the external services. You will have to paste your Google Analytics tracking ID in the provided field and save the changes. Squarespace will now connect to your Google Analytics with no problems. After that, you will have to verify the tracking. So, wait for a few hours to allow data to flow into your Google Analytics. You'll have to wait. Uh, maybe just come back in the next day. And, of course, verify that the tracking is working correctly. Uh, you will have to simply go to Google Analytics dashboard and check for the real-time data. And you can, of course, now explore like the Google uh, Analytics data. So congratulations, your Squarespace website is now connected to your Google Analytics if you do this. So we just connected, so we'll have to wait a day to collect our data. But of course, you will be able to explore like the various reports and insights provided by Google Analytics to gain a deeper understanding of your website's performance, audience demographics, and traffic sources and more. And of course, as you can see, there is no data at the moment because it's just connected. And as I said, you will need like a lot of hours. So maybe just come back to Google Analytics in the next day and see everything, the insights, the analytics of everything. Uh, you'll be able to see, like, as we said, the website's performance, how it's doing, the audience demographics and the traffic sources. And even more than that, you'll be able to see everything in Google Analytics. And as an example here, of course, you'll find everything in the users and go to reports. You'll be able to find everything that you may want. So as you can see now at the moment, it's 0, 0, 0, 0, because I, anyway, like this Squarespace website is not published. I don't even have like a real URL uh, of it. So I just do things randomly here for you. Make sure to enter your accurate URL section and even your accurate website so you can get your uh, connection right without any problem. So that's going to be normally it. If you reached this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected your Squarespace website to Google Analytics, enabling you to monitor and analyze your website's performance in real time. With Google Analytics, you can make data-driven decisions to optimize your site and improve user experience. If you find this uh, tutorial helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful guides. So thank you for watching and happy tracking with Google Analytics. And of course, um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, as we said before. And if you have any like problems, you can leave uh, any questions down below in the comment section, or you can even reach out to the Squarespace or Google Analytics support to help you out. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.